welcome back to life with aisha and yes um this is my second video i'm doing today i did switch it up a little bit for you all and i changed my t-shirt so <laughs> let's just pretend like this is a whole brand new day oh it's wednesday or it's friday who knows when this video will be up but yes i am doing yet another review um who am i like when do i do two reviews in one week but i mean this was just an exciting past weekend for me you know i was hit i hit on the sneakers app twice just go around it was for dun 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 even though you already know by the title but you know let's just pretend that you don't i did get my hands on the off-white jordan 5 so yeah pretty exciting i honestly wasn't even going to go after these shoes you know how sometimes you just think in your mind i'm not going to be able to you know grab this shoe so why even try i have literally done it a couple times with sneaker releases i'm like i'm not gonna be able to grab those and also i was trying to get the travis scott air force ones and i was super bummed out by not being able to cop those so i was really just over this sneakers app as i usually am but it came through again for me and basically almost back to back um i got the ones so if you haven't seen that review make sure you click up here and watch it but i did get my jordan ones off the sneakers app and i also got these right here the jordan fives so i'm going right into the box we have like these little holes that's cut out um also if you haven't checked out my review of my off-white waffle racers be sure to check that out as well um it was a box similar to that with these like cut out holes and circles in the box um these do have like a clear film so like you can't like put your actual finger through the box it's like a clear um protecting protective layer in a box if you get what i'm saying so it is a flip top box so you flip it open like this and you can see the holes in the box more like that and as soon as you open the box up it has this same like clear film off-white um paper in the box or is opposed to like the tissue paper in the box so yeah just get into this so the packaging of this is super nice and super dope my um, second off-white cop and i mean like i was going zero for zero with these off-white releases so i'm two for two now like i don't know what to say <laughs> i'm extra i know so um this is the left shoe and this is the one that has the signature off-white zip um zip tie on the shoe so um if you don't think about off-white it is um virgil abloh he is the creator of off-white and this is his collaboration with jordan 5 this shoe released during the all-star week they're dubbing these the muslin m-u-s-l-i-n moose muslin because that's like um the, one of the colors it says black slash fire red dash muslin i'm probably really butchering their name but you get what i'm saying um and before i get into this review let me just tell like my thoughts on jordan's and well jordan fives i'm not i would say like a huge fan of jordan fives um i actually don't think that it's a really comfortable shoe jordan fives and jordan fours for me personally um they've never been super comfortable now i do own a quite a bit of jordan fives um i have like like some of the notable pairs like the laneys the grapes um what other fives do i have I have a couple other pairs of fives but i'm not like i wouldn't say that my actual jordan collection has a lot of fives in it just honestly and i really didn't think i was going to even get this shoe i just kind of just took a chance for it i actually it's released on a saturday so I woke up like right before the actual draw began because this wasn't just a regular purchase of a shoe you did have to enter a draw on the sneakers app so i entered the draw um, for my size and next thing i know i got on the app and it just said purchased on it so you know they send you a signature got them um like picture and i didn't have that picture yet so i was kind of confused i'm like did i get the shoe i saw purchased i checked my bank account i'm like well sure enough they took the money out of my account so where's my got them um picture it so i waited for probably like 15 minutes afterwards and i'm just like what's going on here i'm like should i contact nike or should i just wait it out so i waited it out and it sure did come and had the got them. even though it's kind of like not a for sure thing but they do tell you until you get the got them um picture and until you get the confirmation email that you may not necessarily have your pair so i wasn't like for sure and like i said before i was just shocked that i was able to get my hands on these so that's another reason why i was kind of second guessing that i actually was able to cop this pair of shoes have like these little holes all throughout the shoe and it's like a 
mesh material so you probably have seen videos of people actually cutting these circles out of the shoe actual Virgil did a video where he was cutting um, the holes out of the shoe and um, it's a hole right here also and no I won't be doing it um, I spent too much money on this shoe to be cutting on it it already has a hole right here on the tongue of the shoe that like you literally can put your finger through it palette color on the tongue also and it has the signature Jumpman logo on the inside of it where it normally says Air Jordan and um, let me just bend it down to show you all it is like cut so it actually doesn't say Jordan all the way on the inside of it so I thought that was kind of cool it just stopped short it says like Air Jordan with the D like the A-N is cut off um, <laughs> the laces are the signature laces so they actually say shoe laces on them just black laces that have laces on it just has this little tag here that says um, made in China on it. They actually have them on both the shoes. I'm just like, not really necessary, but whatever. Um, it does come with these black laces in this one. The black zip tie on the shoe just says off-white um, for Nike 2020 zip tie. So that's how that looks. Um, the biggest thing with this shoe, because I saw a lot of people that had mixed feelings on this shoe when pictures were first released on it, and one of the biggest reasons was because it does have a yellow sole. Now, um, the yellow sole is synonymous with Jordans that basically is a process of the aging. So, like, any shoes that have, like, an icy, um, bottom, I would say typically, like, the 11s, the, what other shoes, the 5s, the, um, sixes shoes like that they do tend to yellow over time but with this shoe here as you can see the sole is already the outsole of it is already yellow has the yellow effect there so a lot of people were saying that they did not like the shoe but as you all know the initial reactions of people to shoes and pictures they do change their mind and i actually was one of those people I actually had no intentions of trying to even get this shoe at all because like I said before I'm not like a huge Jordan 5 fan like I like fives but they're not like my thing so um when I got the shoe I was hella surprised you know to say the least but I am super happy about it on the back of the shoe it just has the Nike Air brand which is another thing that I'm a stickler about um I do like that if they have the Nike Air branding on Jordan 5s so it's a couple more that I do want to cop the fire red fives are coming up and I do well I plan on trying to cop them but we're gonna we're gonna see because I'm really trying to slow down on my shoe purchases for the year it has the 23 here the shoe um has like this over mesh all over the shoe so um it's like a covering so to speak like how this normally will be exposed and that the this will also be exposed it has just like this mesh like covering like this fabric that's over it so it kind of like encloses the shoe so to speak. yeah let me get into the right shoe which has the extra goodies with it. It does come with two different color laces. Um, the red pair, which is, you know, says the same thing, has the shoelaces on it. And it also comes with this, um, I wouldn't say this is a completely white pair. It's kind of like an off-white color, pun intended. It's like an off-white um, colored lace that just has sh laces, shoelaces on it and black lettering. And um, on the red, it has shoelaces and white lettering has the same little tag here which I'm going to be yanking it off of both shoes. Also, I do kind of like the black laces in it. If I was going to probably um, lace swap, I probably would do the red. I just think that they would hit better with the um, red Jumpman here. I think the red would look better in it. But I have seen some pictures where the white was looking a little dope too. So, you know, you never know. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it does have Nike here on the sole as well so there you go and then underneath of the yellow sole you do have the red jump in here as well yeah um that's bringing us to the end of this video i hope that you all enjoyed it let me know down below if you were able to cop these shoes during the all-star weekend or if you were able to copy the other releases there were quite a bit of shoes that released this weekend um if you know anything about joe fresh goods his new balance release you know in chicago so that was a super hot release i just want to know like did anybody that is not of a celebrity status or you know an influencer were they able to get the shoe because it was a whole lot of people standing outside i saw videos in one degree weather so i just want to know like 
was it worth it <laughs> also let me know um did you like this shoe was it a copper drop for you and as always remember to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching Bye.